Well, hello there. If it isn't another fellow basketball, Kuroko, no basketball enjoyer, it's a pleasure to meet you. If this is your first time here, I welcome you. I, I invite you to a nice cold bottle of Sporade. It's like Gatorade, but for sports. So, actually, I, I don't even know. It's like a it's like a Spanish thing. I'm guessing. I mean, maybe it's not a Spanish thing. It's just we don't have this in Canada, as far as I know. I don't know if it's a Latin America drink or if it's a drink from somewhere else that Canada doesn't get, which is fine. You know, I'm. I mean, we do have Gatorade, which is about twenty times worse than this. This is actually good, but. Uh, <laughs> Well, shit, there goes my Gatorade sponsorship in the future. Uh, no, okay, um, what, sorry, I was just trying to come up with an intro. I've been sitting here for 10 minutes thinking like, you know what, how can I change the intro? That's the best I could come up with, I'm sorry, but no, we are here with uh, Kodoko no Basket, episode 23 of season three, you're up and ready to go. So, I mean, I think we're coming kind of close to the end of the match. I don't think I have to say a whole lot, just... I, I, I'm really trying to keep the intro a little bit shorter. Apologies for the dogs in the background. Again, I can't control them. But yeah, I'm trying to keep the intro a bit shorter. So I, I you guys know what's up. We're just getting into a, maybe the final episode of the match. I'm guessing the second final. I don't, it, it just doesn't feel like final episode, final match episode to me, you know? But I could be wrong. I, I'm still an amateur with the sports anime. So I think I'm just going to hop right into the episode, see how the whole zone thing goes with Kagami and uh, Akashi. They're both in it. Uh, Kagami needs to hit that second door, though. He needs to bust through there somehow. So, yeah, let's see how he does it. Hop right into the episode. Let's go. And by the way, yes, this, this is actually for you eagle-eyed viewers. This is just water that I refilled because I'm poor. <laughs> And this one. That's awesome. <laughs> Just weaving. Dodging and weaving around these motherfuckers right now. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about the fucking kneeling, bro. I mean, I did shit talk it a little bit last episode. The whole, like, how do you get somebody to, to get on their knees, right? Like, I, I, it's much easier to comprehend knocking them on their ass. But now that I'm seeing it, I mean, it does kind of make a bit more sense that, that I'm seeing it a second time because he basically has that much control over how he's moving that he is controlling how the other people fall. Like he's able to like juke them out so that they'll fall forward instead. Like he has that precise of a control over the way he's the way he's moving, basically, and the way they'll react to it. Oh, oh, this is cold. Now that's a good start to an episode right there. Some ominous lightning from the eyes. Ooh. Him and Kodoko staring each other down? There's nothing from the others. Yeah, that's what he was saying. He's given up on them. They're dead to him. Damn. Oh. What's that shit from Jujutsu Kaisen? Oh, the fucking... Dog, you're pissing me. You're confusing me, bro. I'm trying to think here. What's the thing from Jujutsu Kaisen? Oh, no. They're making it like it's a huge meme on TikTok now. Um, when they like bring them... Mm, shit, that would have been a good joke if I had known a damn thing, if I had caught up with Jujutsu Kaisen. But no, Akashi's got some mad range on him, bro. Within Akashi's offensive radio. Oh, yeah. Before he could even finish the thought. Akashi was there, dog. Focus. Oh. Having a bit of trouble focusing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. He might catch himself. Yeah. Okay. Atta boy. Mmm. Switch. Still got him, though. Struggle is laughable. Oh, God. This man. I mean, does Akashi know? that he doesn't have to talk shit every time. He can just take the shot inside. Hell, some would argue it's even more brutal to just be in silence the entire time. Just make it seem like it's they're not even worth words at this point. I would appreciate that. Not because they're not worth words, but because I hate listening to this man talk. <laughs> he cannot, he is such a condescending prick, bro. 
I'm kind of surprised that he's not referred to as a king because the way he like talks to people, telling them to bow to him, to stay on the ground. It's like even bro, even their coach is like worried. <laughs> he's like, damn. I didn't know I was in control of this. Nothing. Yep. Push him further away, buddy. Won't do you any good. Yeah, exactly. For some reason, his zone is more intense. Can there be... Um, yeah, because of Emperor, right? No, it does make sense. He has more of like a a mental... Uh, mm, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? For fuck's sakes, I can't think of goddamn anything today. A mental advantage to Kagami. Because Kagami, he's good with the reflexes and with the physical ability. You know, Akashi is very much obviously more of the, the, the brains of the operation. So he's able to keep ahead, even though... Kagami might even be a tad bit more physically, I, I don't know, fast. I, from what we've seen, Akashi's pretty fast too. But hell, even if he's like on par with like Akashi and Kagami are on the same level, Akashi's a little bit more up there just because of the, the eagle eye and the mental advantage that that has as well. But I am glad, just to go back, I'm glad that they're showing that Akashi's teammates like Hayama and Mibushi, they're not very cool with this. They're, they're not very, like, happy with the way that this has turned out. And I can't blame them because you are playing this game because you enjoy it. Even if their whole team mind is, like, being able to handle yourself and work independently, that sort of thing. If that's their whole mindset, um, even though that's basically what Akashi is doing to 100, they're still not okay with it because they still want to play the game. They still want to have fun, I guess. They still want to be able to do something, but... Akashi is a very, very selfish dude who does not care. The door, I see. Okay. The guy standing in front of it. Who is that guy? I mean, he looks like almost every character in this show. I'm going to assume it's like a, a version of Kagami, but it almost looks more like Kuroko, if I'm being honest. Oh, good advice. <laughs> mm, yep, taking it on alone. Just because we all accept it doesn't mean it's the right thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, try to use the zone in tandem with the team. You know, that's, that's not the point that he's making, man. Yep. Bro, what kind of construction are they doing inside right now? It's crazy. I'm going to have to mute, like, this whole video in the background. <laughs> Anytime I'm not talking, muted. Yeah. Exactly. Switch it up from the, the norm. Hell yeah. That boy's posing for the camera and everything. It's good that they're finally, like, cluing into the teamwork thing. I guess that's just kind of, we've gotten so used to the fact that Kagami is more of a lone wolf in the zone that that's just what we expect at this point. Like even, we even have like the Captain Hyuga, we have Tepe, all them saying like, no, we'll just let him deal with it. We'll let Kagami figure out how to deal with Akachi on his own because that's how we've always done it when he's in the zone. It just doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to. And I'm glad that Kuroko was able to realize that. Like, damn, that's a big burden to take. Mentally and physically, even with his own type. I'm glad that, and that's probably what's going to lead to him getting into the second door. Oh, that is nasty. Still caught up to him. Nice. Two of them. Make the wall, boys. Coming in. All right. Okay. What exactly does that mean? Ooh. Okay, tell me Kuroko is going to be right there. Oh, impossible. He's like, 
<laughs> Kuroko's just there like, don't even think about it. Ooh, because I know you don't. Gotcha. Oh, was he looking at Kagami? Only at Kagami. So he went the opposite way? Moved in the opposite direction. Okay. Predicted, yeah, they both, oh. They both predicted his movements. Oh. Can only use it on allies with whom he's, he knows. The people he knows to a goddamn T. Gosh, damn. We were just flexing. Oh, his own emperor. Uh, yeah, rather than seeing the opponents. Oh, not the squeak. Oh. Bro, that's right. Get knocked shitless, buddy. I don't even know what that means. Get knocked shitless. Is that even, <laughs> is that even a term? And freaking Akash, he was just standing there stunned. He was just like, uh huh? <laughs> Bro, Kodoko. Kodoko is the one who broke through Akashi's zone powered Emperor Eye. That's some of the coldest shit that I've ever seen. Bro, didn't even have to be in the zone. He just made his own Emperor Eye and fucking improvised that shit. That's dope. So he it's basically it's the opposite of um Akashi's Emperor Eye, who uses it solely on his opponents. I mean it makes a lot of sense. It's more difficult for me to explain because I don't have the the intellect to explain that sort of shit but basically he just uses his own opponents or his own teammates he uses his own teammates movements to predict the enemies because it's, it's kind of easy like that you just predict what kagami's gonna do obviously akashi's gonna do the opposite of it so it's actually a very simple but tricky plan like complicated to get down oh no oh he's probably gonna be mad is he gonna catch up to him Turnover. He's like, I didn't know that was possible. Let it happen. Yeah, you did. Oh, now he's mad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bro, he's straight out the flash. Bro, he even gave him like a fucking 15 second head start and still got up. What's that, Brian? Yeah, he's getting mad. That's good. He's getting frustrated. Oh, he is so mad, bro. Of all people, Kodoko to beat him. Oh, he's so pissed. You can feel it. An alley oop right into the net, bro. No, don't don't even try, dog. Let us have this. I must not lose. Oh, but you will. You are going to. Oh no, he's still there? That is insane. Soon you don't make it. Yeah, he's a, he's not faltering. Oh the door. Oh it's the golden light. No, bro is glowing. Bro is literally glowing. Oh no. <laughs> oh, everyone's just in silence. Not a single cheer. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> just a moment to process. Oh, we fucking broke that man. Yep, that's right. We beat your guy. That's right. Where did your guy's light go? I'm having trouble seeing it. Looks pretty dark over there. Oh, he is... Yes. Actions are surprising. Yeah, that's an un. Could, it could be the tagline of the show. <laughs> the subtitle Kodoko no Basket. Kodoko's actions are surprising. Because of who they are. Yeah, all the buildup of the entire show led up to that moment. That level of trust to be able to do that. Since starting high school? Probably since a while. When we played in middle school, yeah, and that was the last. Bro, cut it off. In high school, but ever? Because he's, oh man, he's about to fumble hard. He doesn't know. Oh, did he just miss? Oh, he is struggling. Yep, he's thrown off. Bro, miss, he's unbalanced from his usual, like, he doesn't know the feeling of losing. I love that. He's distracted. It's, and he's even, yeah, he's leaving the zone. He got knocked right out of it. And Kagami's deeper than ever. <laughs> I feel like Akashi might make a bit of a comeback because that would be, that would be a little bit anticlimactic, but I do love that messaging that like losing is just as important as winning because you need to, you need to know the feeling of losing.
if you hit a fucking misstep like that, or if you just get shown up somehow, then yeah, just like Akashi, you're thrown off balance. We don't have to worry about that because, <laughs> because as sad as it is to hear, our team has been taking L's the entire series, bro. We've been handed plenty of problems, plenty of crap to sift through and deal with. But now we know how to do it without letting it affect the team as a whole, without sticking to it. And Akashi, bro, he's never felt this in his life. He never thought he would have to. Damn. You can't win. Someone, oh damn, his inner self telling him to give up? Damn. It's just kind of sad, bro. Listening to him debate with himself. Is it his other personality fighting him? The good one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He has to rely on his team again. And now they're like, yeah. <laughs> because the from the starter, yeah, it just feels wrong. The shot is even, bro, everyone's off. Just because Akashi got thrown off, everyone's screwed. And he's faster. Damn, they're getting mad at Akashi now. Can you imagine the fucking 180 that just got pulled here? Oh. Oh, uh, I thought he was going to let him have it. Oh, it's Kuroko. Kuroko might be a bit, like, pissed too. He's like, what's happening to you, bro? Oh, oh my god. Hold on a second. I want to see that again. Did you see Kagami just flash past the screen? Boom. <laughs> just gone. Not even for one second. Oh. Oh no! Oh. Is it bad that I feel a little bit bad for Akashi now? I mean, he's getting shit on. Even his own team is mad at him. It's such karma. It, is, it feels good. It, the part of it feels really amazing, actually. But it does. I do feel a little bit of pity for him because he's never gone through this before. And it is a whole new feeling. And he is just getting shit on and shit on. It's deserved. I, I can't lie. Yeah. Subbing him out. Oh. Dude's loud as hell, Doc. What is that man's problem? God, I hate that dog so much, bro. Yeah. Who are you? Freaking shell of a man. Okay, maybe the pep talk's working. Bruce having a flashback to himself as a baby? That's intense. Oh no. What's happening here? Yep, typical rich kid family. Okay. Okay, something to do with his mother. Mm, yeah, the typical, like... Uh, his mom cheering him on. Oh, is he going into the... What is this? No. What is going on? You can't be pulling this artsy shit with the main... Nemesis? <laughs> oh no. I I just laughed while his mom was revealed as dead. Oh, so that's what started the personality split, huh? Oh, so that's why it was that important to him. Because it was he directly connected it to his mom. Oh. They turned to panic. Yeah, and that's when they split. No. I don't understand. Oh. 
かけがえのないもの。ちょっとそれ以外に方法を知らなかった。うん。ことのみを戻る。それ以外を切り捨てる。<笑> Oh man, I gotta take a fucking break right now. Because they're going actually like pretty goddamn deep with this stuff. I, I, it's just because I feel like I need to. Honestly, I'm pausing it for copyright purposes because I feel like there's not a single segment of this that I want to delete. I think I'll have to as much as I don't want to because every part of this. Bro, that dog. It only barks when I talk. I swear to God. I'm gonna try to wait a second. Maybe he'll shut up. Five minutes later. One hour later. Now I forget what I was even saying.、Uh, I think it was about like the copyright. I just don't wanna pause it. Or, or I don't wanna keep going because I. I need to, there to be a break in the copyright. So I do want to talk about it though. I'm a bit confused because of this screen right here.、Um, I don't know which Akashi is which, to be honest. Is the one sitting the, like, the evil one? The, the personality that's like more competitive, rude. It feels like it. Or maybe it's the one standing and he's trying to like reason with him. I don't know. It's just either way. I, I get the premise of it. It's this version of Akashi was born from the fact that. He was trying to keep his mother's memory through basketball, yet it was his father's influence of never being able to lose. Like, it became more about victory. Not just his father, it was about like the school,、um, that the headmaster guy from the last school. And the, a few different factors went into play about that. But he, he did appreciate his teammates until it became more about the victory. And never losing. And then this was born from it. This version of him that didn't appreciate like having the team as much. He linked victory with his mother's memory, I think. Or maybe he just lost sight of his mother and focused more on the victory aspect rather than why he enjoyed basketball in the first place. Damn. They're going wild with this. I was like, I knew his backstory was like a rich family. Never being able to, like, I knew he had high standards because of it, because of his dad, I believe. We've seen that part. But damn, like, straight up his mom dying and that being the purpose of it, that's crazy. I wasn't expecting that. Sure. Yeah, with his teammates that he,、uh, a new family that he made, and he's do, doing the same shit. Couldn't hurt to lose. Oh no, man's having an epiphany in the middle of the match. That's not good. That's not good for us. Playing Kuroko. Oh, can't suppress her impulse to win. You still want to do it. So let's play Let's play better. Oh damn, the light. Oh no, <laughs> it got overtaken. Yep, the good version taken over. I think.、Oh, how dare you? No, don't be, don't be the evil version again. <laughs> Oh, his eyes back to normal. It's sorry. I mean, I don't want to take away from the beautiful moment, but that is a mischievous ass smile right there. Like, like, is that supposed to be like the same version of smile that we got from Akashi before? Like, that kind of the hopeful, like, better version of him has come back out sort of thing. Still, like, I don't get a good vibe looking at that smile. I think they could have <laughs> made him look, maybe, maybe make him look a little bit nicer, but no, I, I mean, that's good. That's great. I'm glad that Akashi sort of, I think, came to his senses. That feels a lot more hopeful. That feels like this is a version of Akashi that actually, like, cares about basketball, cares about his teammates, because he was just saying he's about to make the same mistake. Sorry. I do have a bit of a cold. So, if you've noticed this whole episode that I'm sweating and like my nose, if my voice sounds a bit weird, it's likely because of a bit of a flu thing that I got. It's, it's not a big deal. I feel pretty much okay, but I think that's part of it. And it's freaking hot up here, too. That has to do with the sweating, but I've made that joke a hundred times. He didn't want to make that same mistake of alienating his teammates,、uh, making victory like the main thing. Plus, it wasn't, it wasn't getting him anywhere, man. He was. 
on a downward spiral and it was just going to keep going and going if all he focused on was victory never losing now i think he's sort of cleared that he still wants to win but i think he's taking his teammates more into account and the fact that he's smiling the fact that his, his smile actually like concerned Mayutsumi. Like a man was stunned. A man was like, who are you? <laughs> but now it seems like, I don't know, maybe he'll be a bit nicer to his teammates. Maybe he'll at least give them a bit more respect. Mayutsumi as well. And that's good, except for that kind of, that makes me think that it ain't gonna go so well for us. Now, like Sadine, like now we have a good version of Akashi to go against that possibly uses teamwork, which is not good. The reason we were winning is because he didn't use teamwork. <laughs> I mean, I think we still got the dub. I, I, I don't think we're currently ahead, uh, but I think we could still, there's a good chance that we're going to still beat him. But I would be surprised if they make Akashi the winner now after seeing that tragic backstory. <laughs> First up, his mom died. Like they they pulled basically the most cliche but tragic card that they could have with his character. And that's 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 tough. I actually feel like he was still an asshole. He was still a bitter, terrible teammate that treated people like trash. But I feel a bit more empathy towards him because of the fact that he had at least it was a bit of a good moral reason why it started he just wanted that memory of his mom to stick with him i think he wanted he it, basketball was an important part of his life because of her it didn't really like i guess it didn't click into him that it didn't really have anything to do with winning it was more about just enjoying yourself playing the game with his mom he was able to enjoy something it seemed like he was, you know, being taught violin, studying, all because of his dad. His dad thought he had to be the top student, the top musician. Anything he tried his hand at, anything the dad wanted him to be a part of, he needed to be the best of. And basketball became something that his mom suggested to him, and his mom only wanted him to enjoy something. But he kind of mixed the two together of needing to be the best at something um, and never losing at it with that good memory so it, it kind of got a bit tangled but it is so nice that he was able to kind of sort through that like i said he still cares about winning but now it's more a bit more wholesome it's a bit more nice to think about because he just yeah it's it's a memory of his dead mom i can't help but have pity or empathy whatever you want to call it for that but no that episode man that was a great episode we got to see kagami go into the second depth of the zone and we didn't see a whole lot of it. Like, man was going off, but the only big change was kind of the glowing golden aura around him. Maybe it was red, it looked a bit more golden, uh, but they didn't show a whole lot of it. So I don't know if they're going to have Akashi go into the zone again. I don't know if he can even, but if they do, I am looking forward to him and uh, Kagami going at it again with the zone. But I don't know, maybe Kagami's like, gonna be running out soon because i imagine being that deep into the zone you tire out a bit more quick so maybe it'll be kind of like no zone just us like us versus kagami no zone involved just us and our natural ability uh i wouldn't mind that honestly but the zone is kind of a big important part of it and he did just get into the zone v2 so it could go either way and i'd be happy if i'm being honest but yeah, I don't know, that was cool. Kodoko being able to kind of use his own, what do they call it, pseudo emperor eye of predicting Kagami's movements. That's fucking dope. Man was able to show up Akashi. That's what I wanted. When I wanted, when I kept saying that I wanted Kodoko to be a part of Akashi's downfall, that works for me. That is damn near perfect. He showed, he, he showed Akashi that he could be on the same level, even out of the zone. Like he didn't need the zone to beat Akashi, even if it was only for a split moment. And that threw Akashi completely off. I felt bad when people were calling him a weak uh, player because of it, but it is kind of true. Like Akashi lost once, he lost one play and he was just done. Like he, he never, he couldn't let that happen. It was just the worst feeling ever, but it seems like he's back in a better mindset. So no, each player, each of the main three, Akashi, Kagami, and Kodoko had some good shit going on this episode, man. And I enjoyed it immensely. I am so happy with this episode. Uh, honestly, I don't think there's much else for me to say. Like, that was deep. 
the Akashi stuff. That definitely took center stage towards the end there. And like I said, I just hope it turns into something better for his team and his teammates. Even though they're kind of jerks, I do hope that they can be treated with a bit more respect from Akashi, especially Mayutsumi. He doesn't deserve all the flack he's been getting from Akashi. So, yeah, like I am really looking forward to the next episode. It seems like it'll be the last one, but it seems like it's more on um, friendly terms. Maybe not quite, but I hope that Kodoko can see the change in Akashi and respect it and be happy that that version of his friend is back. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode because I don't have much else to say about it. And like I said, a little bit sick. So I'm going to end it off there. Great episode. Great match so far. Like every episode has been peak. And yeah, I'm enjoying it heavily. So if you guys enjoyed too, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated. Uh, comment down below your thoughts on the video episode, whatever you want to say. Just no spoilers, obviously. And I do have a Patreon link down in the description if you want to help support me a bit more. Plus, gives you early access to all my videos. And it is highly appreciated that bit of support from me. So, yeah. That is it. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.